Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this sci-fi looking scene in Blender. So at first we need a character for our scene. For that go to Chrome and search Mixamo. You have to create an account to download these models. After that, choose whichever character you like. For this render, I'll download this one. Just click on download and make sure you have selected this FBX format. Now open Blender and go to Files, then click on Import, then select the FBX format, then find your model where you have downloaded and click Import FBX. Now you could see your character in the viewport. Here I just turned on the on-screen key viewer, so you can see which keys am I pressing. And here we have our model with everything set, like all the textures and armature. For the landscape, go to edit then on preferences and search this add-on called Ant Landscape and turn it on. Now click shift plus a go to mesh and click on landscape. Open up this window and on the top, select canyon. Right now, our landscape is too small, so click on the mesh and press S and drag your mouse to scale it. If you want to move your character, Make sure that you select both the mesh and the armature. After that, find a good location to place your camera. Click Shift A and add a camera to the scene. To set your camera to your current view, press Ctrl plus Alt plus zero. If you want to change the location or view of the camera press and then go to the view and check this box. After that you can move your camera freely in the viewport. Make sure to turn off the box you checked once you're done setting up your camera. Now select your character and press period key to zoom on the character. Don't scale your character without selecting the armature. After that move it where you wanted it to be. Select your armature and go to Pose Mode. Turn on this X-ray view. Now select the bone and press R to rotate it. Do this for all the bones that you want to pose and pose it however you see fit.
After the posing is done, select all the bones, take your mouse to the timeline, and press I then select all channel, to apply keyframes to all the bones. After that go to Chrome and search Sketchfab, and download a hand model from there. Just click on Download 3D Model, and select the OBJ format. Then extract the zip file on your computer and go to Blender click on Files Import. And select the OBJ format, and select your model you downloaded. Scale and rotate your model too to fit in the scene how you like. Add a area light, move it up and scale it big, then set the intensity of light much higher like 5000 or something. Go to the world menu and change the color to black. This is my current lighting setup, and make sure to set the gamma value in the right corner to set high if you want more brighter render, if it's too dark. Now we move on to the texturing. Go to Shadings tab and select the landscape and click New. Then press Shift A and search Noise Texture and Color Ramp. Connect the color ramp to the Roughness and Noise Texture to Color Ramp. Then click on the Noise Texture and press Ctrl plus ET to get these nodes. This will only work if you have Node Wangler add-on turned on same as the landscape add-on. Change the texture coordinate from generated to object, drag the black and white bars to set the roughness, increase the details and set the scale that you like. Select the noise texture and press Shift D to duplicate it. And then press Shift A and search bump. Then connect the bump to normal and noise texture to the height and mapping to the noise. Scale to see the effect in render view or material view. Here's my final settings if you want to copy same as me. Now to add some realism we'll add some volumetric fog. For that just add a cube, scale it to the size that it fits your entire scene. Don't scale it too big because then it'll take much longer time to render. Go to the Shadings tab and delete the principal BSDF by pressing X and add principled volume and connect the volume to volume. Then change the density of the fog to very low, so that you can see and increase the light intensity if you need. You can copy my setting. Change the color of the principal volume to little blue, and change the color of the lights too. That's it. Now you can render your scene. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye and take care.